A word for our listeners. Octung Cthulhu is set in the 1930s and 40s. We will be using terms and sayings from those times, including some that could be considered offensive. It is not our intention to offend. We merely wish to offer as accurate a view of the time period as possible. Welcome to Masks of Nyarlathotep, a Nerds Domain Gaming Podcast. Join us each week as our investigators uncover the corruption of the mythos in World War II. Starring George Chimples, Phil Durham, Rob Walker, Justin Kimmett, Shirley Nedzwicky, and Scott Troiano. With Matt Quiet running the table as the keeper. Eldritch evils and crazed Nazi cultists await you just beyond this music. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the Nurse of Britain. <laughs> <laughs> the Nurse Domain presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. You are on a roll. I'm. I didn't even have you turned on yet, Phil. I'm sorry. I, you were the next one. I'm Matt, and I'm here with Root and Toot and Shirley. How y'all doing? Her sidekick, Hippity Hop Rob. I'm having a good time. <laughs> Phil. It's a hip hop apotamus. Hip hip hop? Hip hop apotamus. Hip hop anonymous. Hip hop anonymous. Hip hop apotamus. Hip hop apotamus. You give them all the good ones. Uh and then Jesty Jesty. <laughs> Gee Just- Golly Willigers. <laughs> Justin Kimmet in a long, far off land over the space age technicolor. Ooh. He didn't let you Internet. say hi. I know a secret. Okay. What's that secret, Jesse? I don't think you recorded the last bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's recording now. You're I can see it. So, so we rolled three each of a colt to so, find out what the hell to do with this damn navigator thingy. And they both put their like blood to have a montage. A good old fashioned <laughs> montage. So, Shirley, <laughs> you and your uncle, your yes. Evelyn and his uh, her. Mm, Mm. Whoa. Evelyn and her uncle, Augustus, spend several hours with the compass. The a compass? There's actually a question mark on the little label yeah. because no one knows what it is. Okay. Uh, getting to know it and working with it, and you realize that you're going to need to learn some more Atlantean. We yes. uh, determined that you have five Atlantean yes. already that yes. we didn't know about that you should have been at all. I had hid on them there. in a trunk. <laughs> five. Mm. <laughs> Today, Junior. <laughs> but you still don't know how to use it quite yet. It'll take time. Correct. Meanwhile, on the way back, um, Blake and Fer- Fournier. Astra. Fournier. Yeah. Fournier. Oh, yeah, about to die to a homeless person. They are uh, approached by a homeless person. This is a lot faster than last time. <laughs> we, you just we also... complained. You just said, can we montage this? And now you're complaining <laughs> that I'm going too fast? No, I'm not. Okay. Well, first we decided that we were going to be indirectly oh. honest with uh, the rest of our party. About yeah, that. we had to figure out if we were going to tell him that we uh, shanked that old man. He wasn't old. Well, he I don't think he used the shank. He was a little he old. Was old. Well, he was the son of an ambassador. How can he be old? He's, he's You're really stuck on the son of an ambassador thing. Yeah, I, and and okay. how does the son of, the, of an ambassador make him not old? Oh, Spock know. was old <laughs> later in life. Oh, yeah. Right? He yeah. was the son of an ambassador. Yep. Where the hell are you getting this at? Yeah. The only people that stay young are sons of a preacher man. Because they die? No, because there was Cause a boy. Because they're messing around with the preacher girl's daughter. What? That's how I get used. Oh, that's 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 getting Game of Thrones. Oh, good, <laughs> Justin. There, we lost Phil, and, and that's out. Uh, so, you guys are approached by a homeless man, <clears throat> and he says, would, would either of you care to buy a poem please did we steal the money from that guy no you said the money was not important that didn't mean that we didn't steal it when we walked out the door no you said the money is not important to him no no you said the money is not important so you i just assumed you didn't take it and you were not specifically taking it so you didn't take it okay i think we you can take it us. if you wanted it that's nah, it doesn't matter uh, well, you, and actually, actually, to cover it, you might want to take it. So, it like yeah, say, no, and there's probably, probably, probably distro, 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 distribute it back out to the because that, that's what I'm thinking is if we took the money, we would have bought the poetry from the dude, whatever. Okay, because the some books loot. were already all over the place. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's gonna be hard to tell if the place wasn't tossed. Right. 
Because you guys <sighs> fell all over them. Good job looking was, for those books, a, too. It was a tactical decision to make a mess as we were It was a tactical away. decision to dive over that <laughs> counter. <laughs> you know what? fall down at his feet. What is that film where he's diving for no reason? I feel like that's what happened. <laughs> Galaxy <laughs> Galaxy Quest. Austin Powers. Well, that's, there's probably Comedy. a lot I think it's them. Austin Powers. Oh, yeah, so. baby. So, Tim, Tim Allen is... Oh, go ahead. It's I really like that movie. I know you what's, do. What's the, what's the po- poem about? Uh, well, here... <clears throat> He hands it to you. Thanks, guys. And he just walks away. Uh Uh-oh. He didn't like vanish? Would you like to read that? (laughs) Paschino has lost his voice. His dearest Lucrezia is concerned for his health. There are too many sausages in the pantry. Please come home and help your sister. She cannot run the family restaurant alone. You recognize some of those names from Rome. Lucrezia and... Pasca Dillo Paschino are um, very, very Italian names. Pasca Dillo. And, and actually probably more like Latin names. Um, th- this sounds, the the wording on this sounds familiar. Even though it, the, the note itself is in German, those na- those words stick out to you very clearly. And you can read this without any issue. Sounds like that NPC was a plant. Right. <laughs> <laughs> No, he was a homeless person. He is not a tree. Ah. I'm betting that guy. If you're going to sass, I told this to Rob last time. <laughs> if you're going to sass, either do it on mic or don't do it at all. And then I had and, to steal and, the mics. And I stand behind that because I had to edit out a whole bunch of stuff and edit around you a bunch of times. Because you weren't quite on mic and it was really hard to hear. So either sass on mic or don't sass. That was we didn't have enough mics then. That's not my yeah. fault. Well, you could have sassed on mic. I did. I, eventually, I started stealing the mic. At some people. point, <laughs> at some point, Robert, you have to take responsibility for not taking sass insurance. Oh, is that what it is? Oh my god! No, <laughs> can we like let's go on? Yeah, I've your got sass insurance Poem. in case I fall on it. But <laughs> the, the Roman Empire. Oh, does that cover your face too? Oh, oh. Are you calling me an ass face? Yeah. Oh. oh so come on, shit, Rick, Let's go with this. <laughs> come on, let's go. Did Aster give? <laughs> The stranger nope. any money? So he said, to, do I want to buy a poem? But you just handed this and walked mm-hmm. off? Aster, this this may. Roll, roll, you rolled your espionage and got that, right? Just say yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you this, just say it's a 75. That it so obvious that, yeah. that roll. <laughs> this, this, may be, uh, this may be a handoff. Yeah. Um, so you, you don't know of anybody here in, uh, in Vienna that would know you two, but you have been seen with Jesse's character who is... You know, in those in the specific circles known as a an intelligence officer. So it may be that you're guilty by association. Not guilty, but you're you're known by association. So <laughs> right. that might be what's going on. I'll be I'm not a stealthy role. spy. So yeah, we know that. No, because oh, you're not. because this you, you now that you think about it, this isn't the first time you've seen homeless people selling poems. Like they do that. It's actually oh. kind of how uh, Hitler lived in Vienna. He sold paintings, terrible paintings. Uh-huh. I so uh Blake hands the note to Aster and says, does this make any sense to you? It seemed very odd that he didn't actually roll your give us any chance to. Um, go ahead and roll it. 24 under 60. There's a deeper meaning. You're not positive. However, given the Latin in it. Um, I know some Latin. You're not, not there. there. I know, but you can bring it to me. <laughs> you know Would you quit Latin? metagaming and let us get through our segment? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'm not trying to show this to more people than I have to, but I also can't just be like, oh, yeah, this is nothing. Some guy <laughs> gave me a note, everyone. Let's make sure everybody knows it. Jesse did that. I know, and we I kicked him in the leg. And now a not? man is dead because of it. Right. <laughs> no, a man's dead because of your decisions. A man's so, dead on your you. decisions, and that's how I'm going to play it. You're going to love it. It's going to be great. So from your cryptography, you got you succeeded on that? I did, yes. Um. Paschino and Lucrezia are people. Right. Sausages refers to the Germans. Right. I mean, this is stuff that you picked up from it. Um, you know that the Eternal City is Rome. Like, that's just a... It's another... It's it's like, you know, the Big Apple or whatever. Okay. Um, it doesn't say the Eternal City. It doesn't? No. It says there are too many sausages in the pantry. It says, please come home and help your sister. Weird. Why does it tell me that? 
But you can tell us. You cannot run the family restaurant alone. Well, but if there's no connection okay. logically within this note, I'm a, I'm a cryptographer. Rome, right? I can figure that out. Yeah, I mean, you you, you would I mean, have to the guess Italian given names with the home given home. the Italian names. It's it may, it's it, it, it's at least Italy. You may not know it's Rome. Um, but yeah, there's there's something there. It might be good to contact your um, British handlers and see if you can get more information on what's going on. Okay, this may be their attempt to con to start that contact as well. You good? Yeah. Okay. So you guys head back to the the rest of the way to the hotel. Yep. Yarp. Okay. Um, you guys go up to the suite and. Uh, <laughs> Augustus and Evelyn are kind of hunched over the bowl. Evelyn's kind of chanting something that doesn't really make a lot of sense. <laughs> and Augustus is like not dancing so much as kind of like flourishing his arms. Um, uh, yeah, um, yeah, kind of, um, sort of. Um, nothing's really happening, and they seem to be really into it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys are getting naughty in there. I'm like, do, you, do, we, do need we to leave them alone? Do we each have our own uh, bedroom? Yeah. So I'll kind of observe them for two or three minutes, see that they're deeply into it, um, kind of nod at uh, Aster, and then go to my bedroom. Why can't you avoiding having to tell them? Oh yeah, <laughs> the weight the weight of leadership falls heavy upon me. <laughs> uh, any what are you doing, uh, Aster? I'm just waiting patiently, kind of observing what they're doing. Okay. Um. After a couple of minutes a- after um, Blake heads to bed, they kind of kind of give up out of a little bit of a frustration. Um, and that's when uh, Augustus and Evelyn, you guys noticed that Aster is there. Not that you weren't completely aware that he was there to begin with, but like now you're you're aware and aren't doing right. something. Um, I would be like a little overexcited and notice <clears throat> notice Aster and I would talk to him in his native language um, and say oh we found something exciting and I would tell him about what we've done I was so waiting for hello <laughs> you're talking no. to him in his native <laughs> language so you're speaking to Aster in duck French quack 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 <laughs> quack 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 like, I'm just making sure you know where from <laughs> quack 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 know. quack 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 no imagination at this duck time tails. We'll get into that. So, hey, 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 focus, focus, focus. Shirley. What? Talk to him in his native him. language. What did you tell him? I told him everything. Bonjour, no. <laughs> I told him um, what we found out uh, about it being Atlantean and um, what we've tried so far, and now we're trying to narrow down the chant. We got a weird formula. Formula? Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Can we? Can I? Can I see it? Since we're all speaking French, I'll be speaking French also. Yep, I'll um, pass it over. Uh, Jesse, I'm specifically leaning Jesse. Leaning over Jesse's. Well, I mean, you can see it too, elbow, but whatever. Specifically, Jesse, go ahead and roll knowledge. Read it. Knowledge. Knowledge. Twenty six. Under ninety nine. Under ninety. Yeah. What? Okay. Um, you are not familiar with that particular. Uh, formula however or i'm sorry you're not familiar with the the mathematics or physics that go into that formula you are familiar with the formula as it is uh something that a, a austrian named ludwig boltzmann uh came up with to describe em- entropy you have no idea how it works but you're familiar with the concept oh, okay <clears throat> yeah this um, is a formula know- about entropy you do know Bye. that it's carved on Boltzmann's tomb in Zentral Friedhof, Vienna's largest and most famous cemetery. Uh, yeah, this is also carved on his tomb at Central <laughs> Vienna's Central uh, Cemetery. That's pronounced tome. <laughs> <laughs> no tombs. Did you like that callback, Rob? That was beautiful. <laughs> Uh, did, did we actually get that part? Was that one of the parts that made it, or did it not make it? It made it. It made it. It made it. That that is there. That was beautiful. <laughs> Forever in the annals of history. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
you, no chuckle about an anal, <laughs> Phil? What's wrong with you? Are you okay? It doesn't feel well. <laughs> I'm thinking about in in uh, in memoriam. In uh, <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's what that that's what you get from that formula there. Augustus. Okay, I pass the information along. Thanks. So, uh, did you guys uh, find anything out over uh, just looking at that guy's house and keep an eye on him? He's not going to be a problem anymore. <laughs> Can I roll psychology? What, was he was he a problem to begin with? Nope. How how is he not a problem? He's always been a problem. Psychology. Not a problem anymore. Situation's been resolved. No, I don't have to. Did you find anything out? I gave you what I found. <laughs> <laughs> did you? You're trying to metagame this, Jesse. Stop it. Did 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 you like mess the place up? And did did he see you? No. Okay, so it just looks like a robbery. Everything's fine then, right? Yeah. Good. Good. I trust you. See what happens when I tell him to stop metagaming? He trusts me. <laughs> right. I do need to go over there and pick up a book, though. I'll probably do that tomorrow. <laughs> I'd wait a few days. It'll be hard to find. I've turned away from them I'm to go mess with the You are actually compass. really exhausted from working with it so far. I am really exhausted, so I'm going to go <laughs> ahead and go to bed now. I don't know how to respond to that without choking you. <laughs> am, am I also exhausted, or is yeah, this more the, of a the both of you, thing? The both of you are actually quite tired from having worked with that compass. Yeah, it's a lot of And it is energy. getting a little bit late. Um, you guys all head to bed. Ha, ha, you head to bed. Unless one of you is going to sneak out. I'm sure this is part where Rob sneaks out and murders more people, because that's what he does. Not yet. Not yet. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. So you guys um, wake up the next morning. What are you guys doing? How did the uh, work with the compass go last night? We're, we're not quite finished yet. Did but you you're make making progress? There. We're yes. making progress. Oh, excellent. That uh, formula you found, I uh, told Asterix Aster. about it. And uh, it, it's a formula that's also on a guy's uh, tombstone in Vienna. Vienna. That's where we are. No, okay. no, no, no. It's not just in Vienna. We're going to say this one more time. <laughs> Zentral Friedhof. All right. The Friedhof, yes. Yes. Let's Friedhof. go to the Friedhof. Uh, Zentral Friedhofs. Yes. Something like that. <clears throat> and it's a formula for entropy. 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 Same thing. It's no. Not the same thing. <laughs> in- Do you two want to continue uh, working on the compass or. Do you think that uh, you'd like to get out and check out the cemetery with us? I feel like we're making good strides with this compass. I would rather like to have a bite of breakfast before I continue. There's oh, well, yeah. something else that we need to dialogue that we didn't talk about last night because everyone was too tired. What 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 do we need to dialogue? Murder. <laughs> <laughs> we, we that's, gotta... that's an action, not a dialogue. <laughs> We got a really cute poem from a street vendor last night. Oh, oh what yeah. does it say? Oh, yeah. Here you go. You should read it out loud, Phil. Okay. Again. Okay. So this a uh, homeless uh, person approached us selling a poem, as I'm sure that um, you've all encountered. However, this one, when I asked about what the poem uh, was in regards to, handed me the poem and then walked away not expecting any money. So it was quite odd. Jesse, you're aware that no sometime- financial remuneration? Mary says, should I make an espionage roll or something? Or? No, you're <laughs> aware that this is how um, your handlers contact you from time to time. Um, or rather, they, this is how they contact um, your friend at the cafe. Okay. Paschino has lost his voice. His dearest Lucrezia is concerned for his health. There are too many sausages in the pantry. Please come home and help your sister. She cannot run the family restaurant alone. Hmm. Your, your version isn't as good as mine. Um, Jesse, you can roll espionage now. Can I roll history? All righty. Sure. Names? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, since I didn't upgrade it like you told me to, <laughs> I rolled a 90 over a 10. 
So you have no idea what's going on. Oh. Seriously? How did you? Oh, I got. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Jesse, yeah, why did you not, not oh, no, update I see it? It's like 65. 60 something, isn't it? 65. Never. It's still, still over. Failed. It's still over. <laughs> you did fail. What I did was you? concerned about him being a bad spy until he said that. And then I was like, oh, that makes sense. I feel better. He can't talk anymore. Oh, wait. Now he's supposed to be talking well. Damn, this really didn't fix the problem. Way to go. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> what did you get on history? 54 under 70. Um, yeah, those are some names. But without last names, you can't be oh. sure. Because Lucrezia could be, uh, you know, it's a po- it's not an uncommon name. Okay. Well, those are some names. <laughs> 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 You're a jerk. Well, if none of us have any strong leads to follow on this, then maybe they'll oh, this give is, us... This is sort of an English thing. I have a contact here that is a part of their organization. We could go talk to him about it. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't follow that. <laughs> um, you have an English Yeah, guy. you met him. Okay. Yeah, we, he was the waiter talk- at the cafe. So you think that he'll know what the contents of this note mean? Maybe. <clears throat> it's more information that we've got. All right. Do we think that this is a more important lead than following the uh, tomb? Checking no. Up on that? Could you not do I, both? I don't think it is. This, the context I'm, I'm of it sounds to me like they're wanting us out of here. We can do both. So Split uh, the party. Yeah. yeah, I'm staying to work on the compass. Me too. So it's going to split you two up. Well, I think we can do one mm. and then the and then mm-hmm. the other if you can set up the meeting for us. Sure. I mean, if we if we think the tome's going to have something on it that we need. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there'll be a tome in the tomb. Ooh. Or a tomb in the tome. It's a tome tomb. The possibilities are endless. Tomb tome. All right, so where are you guys headed? So first? after we'll have a nice breakfast. With sausages? No. Sausages, sausages I, I, are in the pantry. I have to, I have to say There that are too now. many sausages. <laughs> Focus, guys. In, in honor of our dear friend George. Sausages. Yes. Sausages. sausages. Okay, so we have our breakfast. We're not poisoned by the breakfast? No. Yay. Awesome. What you're going to want is a nice sausage, and then uh, you're going to want a little piece of dark chocolate. Yeah. It's got your blueberries, antioxidants. Right? You want some blueberries. blueberries. It's also got antioxidants. And then you want a nice piece oxidants. of cheese. Ugh. A nice, a nice rich piece of cheese. And that's the full George. Got I got yeah. the full George. <clears throat> okay, so Man, they go George. back to work <laughs> on the uh, compass, and we'll go to Central Friedhof uh, Cemetery. That was we'll close. Boltzmann's. Ventral. It's like it's like ear lick. Man, <laughs> <laughs> and we have fried hoof. Ventro fried hoof. That's a note. I'm really happy that it's caught on that's ear lickman. Even <laughs> even, the, <laughs> even our keeper can't get it right. right. He keeps going Ehrlichman. back and forth on it. Ehrlichman, it's great. Ehrlichman, Ehrlichman. So, uh, so I'm sorry. Where are you going first? We're going to the central <laughs> fried hoof. <laughs> okay. Um, it doesn't take you guys very long to find the the um, tome. How far away is it? An hour and a half. Not very. Oh, okay. Travel time is not that important. It's six miles. Six miles. Well, travel no, time would be No, it's important. not that far. It's They'll get there before, <laughs> there and back before lunch. We're going to have All a nice right, jog. I think it's Merry pronounced Christmas. y'all. So like you don't murder anybody on the way. So, um, <laughs> you find the to- doom. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. You find the tomb. Of Ludwig Boltzmann. Um, it's among the many other iron grabber, which means honorary graves, that act as a macabre uh, attraction for both the visitors and locals alike. The equation Ehrlichman left in Precht's care is carved on top of the large marble slab that makes up the bulk of the monument. Below it sits a stern and imposing bust of the physicist himself. The tomb is flanked on either side by two smallish yew trees, and the grave is covered in flowers. Um, As far as you can tell, there has not been a recent um, disturbing of the grave. Yet. Yet. 
Um, <laughs> can I get a spot hidden for both of you? <laughs> 94. Wow. I believe that's a pass. <laughs> Not yet. I'm getting there. Yes, I passed. Okay. So, Blake, you actually notice it um, at the base of one of the uh, yew trees. It's clear that someone has dug and tried very hard to clear, cover it up and would have succeeded, but you were on the lookout for this kind of thing. Um, would we need... I mean, I'm assuming then that it's relatively loose... Yeah. Dirt. Yeah. Is it who? What's what's the uh, traffic like inside of this? Good uh, question. Not super busy, but if one of you is going to dig, the other one should keep an eye out. Is this open at night, or would that be a no? Point? No, yeah. it'll be closed at night. That's when the ghosts and goblins come out. Yeah, that's exactly. Do you know why they keep fences up around cemeteries? Ghosts keep in the, the graveyard. No, because everyone's dying to get in. Earlier. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, I can't even deal with you. <laughs> that was the worst. I like it. The worst? The worst. The worst? I'm not going to knock you that. It was the worst. Oh. Do you know when, a, when a joke becomes <laughs> a dad joke? When? It's funny when it's not funny. That was making it funnier. So you, you when? Know when it, Go ahead. When it becomes apparent. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so you see... I'll be here all day. You see the, the disturbed dirt. Who's keeping an eye out? Who's digging? Well, my spot head has been great, so I'll keep an eye out. <laughs> <laughs> so, Blake, you're digging? Yes. Okay. Um, it takes, like, a couple minutes, and you pull out um, a oil skin parcel tied tightly with several lengths of coarse brown string. Inside the package is a battered notebook. Oh, no, I don't oh. open it right now. Oh, okay. Because it would seem kind of weird to be like, okay, we just dug up this hole and we're keeping an eye out. Like, okay. I'm just gonna take it and let's go. All right, so, are you? Where are you headed then? Well, we gotta check with our English contact. So you're going to the cafe. Let's go back to the hotel first. Do you want to get two birds stoned at once? Let's figure out what's inside of this. Maybe that'll be useful to us in deciphering whatever that note was, or in communicating. What? What? Did we set a time with? Uh, because no, because um, Augustus had to set up the meet, so we still have to go back there to find out when the meet is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, sounds good. Okay. Um. So, meanwhile, um, about twenty minutes after Blake and uh Fournier leave, there is a knock at the door. Twenty minutes after. That's what housekeeping. Um, I think up? we should hide the compass. Yes. Okay. So you guys hide the compass. One comp moment. You guys hide the compass. Who is opening the door? I'll go up and look. Is there like a peephole in the door at all? Or? Uh, yeah. I'll look up the people. Uh, there's a gentleman dressed in hotel uniform. I'll open it. Okay. Hey, he says, uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, do you mind if I come in? What's, what seems to be the problem? I, I just need to step inside real quick. I don't think we want to have this conversation in the hall. Sure. As you kind of step back to let him in, um, he is pushed aside as two kind of strapping large men come in with guns. And then a gentleman that you recognize in a suit and tie comes in behind them. Uh, you know this is as uh, Gotthold Fuchs. Uh. He is not carrying a gun. Um, he seems very confident of his position. The other two kind of um, motion for you to sit on the couch, um, and if you don't, they start to move towards you in a very menacing fashion. I'll casually go over to the couch and sit down. So what seems to be the problem? What about you, Shirley? Are you sitting down? <laughs> nothing are, nothing are, crazy here. You should um, sit down on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is normal for me in my everyday. Just you know, ah, yeah. How's it going? So Shirley, or, or I'm sorry, is Evelyn joining him on the couch? Uh, yeah, nonchalantly. She's terrified. <laughs> do do do. Okay. So, um, I understand that the two of you have been looking into things recently. What thing? 
<laughs> what kind of things? You have to be a bit more specific about that. I look into a lot of things. I'm a historian. We can play dumb, and this will become very violent and very painful. Or we can share a little bit of information back and forth, and I <clears> won't <throat> have to remove a finger or ten. So what is your question? Is that five from each of us, sir? Do you want to find out? I suggest cooperation. This will go smoothly and quickly. What? what have you been looking into while you've been in Vienna? Atlantis. He looks pointedly the rumors at rumors of Atlantis. He looks pointedly at you and then he looks over at Augustus Augustus. Yes. Ex- or he doesn't call you Augustus. He calls you by your cover name. Good. Explain <laughs> to your bad. Yeah. Explain to your female friend that. I want the full truth, not just half truths. What have I you look been at... looking into? What did the woman in the park ask you to look into? I'll, I'll look over at Evelyn. So, so the man said he doesn't want your half truths. He wants your full truth. What he doesn't understand is that was a full truth because you're looking into Atlantis, and I, I clearly don't believe the place exists because I'm sane. <sighs> Stop calling me insane because I'm looking into mythology and possible truths of what we're trying to find. I think it's all just a waste of time. That's assuming we have any more time. I mean, these guys look like they're ready for business. So he pulled uh, Fuchs pulls out a um, out of his kind of a jacket pocket, um, a small. Uh, cigar ashtray and you can tell it's a cigar because it has a a deeper divot for the cigar Mm -hmm. on it and sets it down pulls out a um a not like a a cutter for a cigar Mm -hmm. sets that on the table as well and then uh from the other um pocket in his in his jacket uh pulls out a length of rubber like uh like a rubber ribbon almost Hmm. Like a rubber band? Yeah, but it's not circular. It's just one piece. Gotcha. He says, um, Mr. Air... I don't, what did we give your characters? Hasselhoff. Hassel, Air Hass. <laughs> Air Hasselhoff. Perhaps you'll tell us what you spoke to the woman in the park about. We talked about Atlantis. What else did you talk about? That's it. Her husband was interested in Atlantis. We was looking for more information on it. I didn't realize that he had died in the woods until this conversation we had with her. I see. Do you know about his death? I know a lot about his death. Could you enlighten us? I was there. In the woods? Yeah. I I just look back and forth from... A, from Heinrich. I, I, Heinrich. He's... Heinrich he's, 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 he's He's hinting that he killed him. Heinrich here was I, the one that held him as I slit his throat. And he moves forward with that, that rubber band and calmly grabs hold of Augustus's arm and sets it on the arm of the chair, of, of the couch, mm-hmm. and moves to strap it down. This Look, if I had more information to give you, I would. I don't want to lose any fingers. I, I, just, I don't have well, anything else to give. You're about to because you've not given me any more information. You're not giving me the information Any, I want. Giving you any more information than you were here, you were in the park talking to the woman about more than just. I was not. Really, is that why the four of the the four of your party went to the reading room and emptied Mister Earl, Professor Ehrlichman's desk? That's because Professor Ehrlichman was leading on the Atlantis thing, and you're not looking into his death. Oh, well, it's a side thing, sure. I mean, it. we don't have to anymore. <laughs> Apparently, we found that out. But no. Um, we weren't. Evelyn, you, uh, the <clears throat> one of the two big men kind of grabs you by your arm, even though you're s- s- seated, and pulls you kind of away from your uncle. Are you going to move along with him? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to... Okay. See? He's making fun of me. Take it too long. Oh my goodness. How are you gonna figure this out, Rob? I don't know. How are you gonna figure this out, Shirley? So, so this this couch we're sitting on. Mm-hmm. This couch like, that I put my handgun in earlier. 
No, you did not say anything about putting your handgun in there. However, you can roll. Somewhere. You can roll half of your luck. I okay. would try. How about to my knowledge? Because I would know something like this would happen. And... I can't hear both of you at the same time. Go oh. ahead, Jesse. I got a good luck. Is that eighty-five or ninety-five? Half I don't know. Of your <laughs> luck, so you're looking at twenty-two. <laughs> I rolled a ninety-nine, so my guy's not even in this room. <laughs> So, uh, no, you did not uh, put your gun in there. You What were you saying, Shirley? Um, Are you moving along with being moved? No, I would try to jerk away from him and tell him to unhand me, you brute. Uh, he is going to strike you. He's going to pistol whip you. Oh, that's amazing. So I get knocked out. No, no, no. It's just going to hurt a lot. Not even starting with an open hand I slap. I want a just... chance to kick no. this guy. In the so, so they, these what, are what Nazis. I... These are not good people. Would you like to try and dodge away from that? Yes. 63 over 30. You're going to take two points of damage. So since and she's... Hold on. Being... I'm not finished, Justin. Sorry. Sorry. You, and you feel your cheek open up in a cut as blood kind of starts to trickle down your face. So you just watched your niece uh, become <clears throat> pistol whipped. Your left hand is tied to the arm of the couch you're on. Since she's making a kerfuffle, uh, does the uh, the guy who doesn't have a gun drawn have a gun on him? Uh, yes, he does. Is he? He's close to me, right? He's strapping my hand down. Yeah, I'm gonna take his gun and shoot him with it. Can you roll? I don't want to murder the guy. Grapple. Oh crap! Probably not. <laughs> um, where would grapple be on this? Oh, it's right there with nothing written on it. Right. Don't murder the guy. We're like yeah, you're at probably at base for grapple. Uh, let's see, that's 25%. Eh, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> uh, 48. Hey, uh, no. So you reach for his gun. Uh, you do end up pulling it out of its holster, but he turns and you drop it, so now it's on the ground. Um, Dive. And he uh, quickly bends down, grabs it, and stands back up. When he's bent over, can I like kick him in the head? Sure, roll your kick. That's also base. <laughs> hey, that's a 71. <laughs> um, as he stands up and you kick out at him, he moves out of the way easily, and he is going to pistol whip you. Would you like to dodge? Sure. It's alphabetical. It's going to be in the left-hand corner. Oh, Maybe. Dodge is, yeah, I dodge. Oh, okay. So he swings at you, and you, you move out of the way just in time. And he says, uh, Er Hasselhoff, this could become very bloody and very violent quickly. Tell me everything that you know about the death of Ehrlichman and his notes. Well, apparently, you slit his throat in the woods. Um, his notes were a bunch of stuff about a place I don't necessarily believe in. Where are his notes? Oh, that is a good question. I believe our compadres have them, don't they? Yes. I'll look over at Evelyn. Yes, they took them this morning when they went to the cemetery. I see. Well, perhaps it's time to turn you over to the to the Gestapo. And they can help you figure out how much you actually want to tell us or not. I'm sure that there's more information here that could be gleaned at a given time. It's about that time that uh, you, the two of you come uh, up the stairs. I assume. I don't know if there's elevators. It's 1939. Yeah, there's an elevator. Sure. <clears throat> the elevator door opens. And uh, you see a very panicked looking hotel uh, worker slow. He didn't run? Can I finish? Hi. <laughs> looking pan or walking slowly down the hall seemingly arguing with himself but silently um, away from your room. <clears throat> I all kind of nod at Aster and reach for my pistol. Yep, same. You guys are so paranoid. Hell for yeah, good reason this time. Yes. <laughs> So uh, you guys walk to the room. The door is just slightly ajar, and you can hear a German voice inside. 
a, a clear like German German voice, not like I'm a Frenchman trying to speak German or I'm an American trying to like this is German. So I'll look at Astra, make sure we lock eyes. Yep. I'll give him the three. I'll give him the two. I'll give him the wait, one. Wait, wait, wait. Do you kick on one or do you kick on zero, though? <laughs> <laughs> By default, you kick on zero. Do so you? Once the in France, drops. you do, but in America, do you? He's not American. Yeah, he works for the American government. We both work for the British thing. We were trained by the same people. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> We would have coordinated this at some I'm point. I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure it would have been. He would have gone one, two, or three, two, one, kick, or he, right. three, two, one, zero, kick. He would have motioned it all out. That's fine. I'm perfectly fine with that. <laughs> so you guys kick in the door. We're going to go into rounds. Yay. Yay! So I need my pencil back. Oh, sorry. I, I better put this note away so I don't lose it in the fight. <laughs> you want me to put it with the rest of the notes? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> I need dexterity from everybody. Uh, Evelyn. Uh, my dex is 15. Uh, Aster? 10. Wow. Whoa. Brian? 14. Uh, Jesse? Pretty sure it says 15. Oh, my God. It's either 15 or 19. Wow, I, I can't imagine it's 19. I don't either. So, 15? 15. Your character's name is... Okay. Air Hasselhoff. All right, Augustus, you're going to not get to do anything this round. Um, Okay. Evelyn, would you like to declare? I'm going to um, drop to the floor and crawl over to my shotgun. In your bedroom, I assume? You didn't just leave your shotgun like laying out, did you? Why wouldn't it be in the common sitting room, like up against a couch or something? Two, t- several reasons. One, shotguns are illegal. Guns are illegal in, in Austria. Oh, okay. Civil so zillions then, can't have them. Yeah. Okay. I would try to make it. To Two, this is not shotgun. cowboy land. This is not <laughs> well, cowboy land. Everything so are you gonna, that, that Evie just I taught me just it. kicked in. Are you going to so. bolt for the bedroom, though? Is that the idea? To go get the, the yes. shotgun. Okay, that's fine. Yes. Okay. Uh, de- declaration, Brian. Uh, so I kick the door in. Sure. I see two large Germans with guns and a third German. Yeah, with another gun. With, he, with they all gun. have guns. Two very large guys and one guy not so large. I wonder who's dying today. He's at a ri- oh, he's pulled the gun now. Yeah. Well, uh, Jesse tried to pull it out of his pocket. and It fell. He picked it up. Oh, I drew it for him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was uh, wonderful. Fuchs was yeah. uh, the one tying him down. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will take aim at the... So... When... There's one of them that's clearly a, not a thug. Two of them, the two big yeah, guys, are clear take thugs. At one of the thugs. And so, basically, I'm gonna, since I did the countdown, I'm assuming I'm going to go in just slightly. I'll probably head off to the... Right, like, if the door swings like to the left, okay, I'm going to go kind of step to the right to make it clearer for uh, Aster. Aster to okay. come in. And so okay. then if I'm on the right, then I'm going to take aim at the right, or the more right of the two larger thugs. Okay. Aster? I'm going to stand in the doorway, kind of on the, like coming out the side of the door where he just kicked it in. Okay. And I'm going to aim at the thug closest to me. Okay. All right, so f- pew, pew. first firing, nothing. Evelyn, nothing. Brian, go ahead and fire. I got a... I hit for a one. Really? I rolled a one on a d10. It happens. I only grazed him. Fails there. Okay. All right, uh, Aster. A hit for eight. Eight damage. All right. Ooh, I should probably look at that. Oh, oh, holy cow. Is that right? <laughs> Are we fighting mutants? Okay, no, they that that is right. Holy cow. That's a lot of hit points. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, we go to melee or to, to standard round. Uh, Evelyn, you're going to get up and run to the bedroom. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Brian, if you have a second shot, you can take it. I believe I have three shots. What's your skill? 75. It should be actually on the weapon, should say. The attacks number or number of attacks. Yep, I have a three. Okay. I missed on that one. Okay. And then Aster. I don't have a weapon there. I was using Brian's as a basis. You never gave me a weapon. That's a good point. Uh, Brian, you have a pistol that fires three times? Yeah, I have a Webley Foster automatic revolver. Okay. So you can fire three times. Okay. Now, remember, it's a revolver, so you have, what, six shots? Before eight. you got to reload. Eight before you have eight. to reload? Okay. okay. Just I'm, keep that I'm tracking. Mind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. That's fine. Miss. Oh, okay. Um, they were caught off guard, so they won't go until the the last firing, which is now. Um, we're going to Jesse, the guy in front of you. Um, mm-hmm. the Fuchs is going to pistol whip you again. Oh, he hits. Try to dodge. Go for it. I can dodge. I got a ten. Okay. And then the other two guys are going to turn and fire back. So one at Aster. <laughs> no, it's a 90. And the other one at Blake. That's a 30. That hits. You can dodge if you'd like. Dodge. Failed. Okay. Oh, well, these only do 3d10. I'm kidding. Uh, you are going to take six points of damage. Youch. Yeah. So, top of the round, Augustus, you have your turn. You you can do whatever you'd like now. Keep in mind, you're tied down. Uh, one arm's tied down. Yeah, so what's your intent? Do I still have my stiletto with me, since I wouldn't have my pistol, probably? You probably do have your stiletto. I'll take my stiletto and cut myself free. Okay. Uh, Evie, you can get your shotgun and fire one shot this round. Okay. Keeping in mind that, that it really should be a slug. If it's not a slug, you're really screwing yourself. Yeah. Or all of your friends. <laughs> uh, Brian uh, I'm going to look to take some sort of cover and fire continue, continue to fire at the person if you come any farther into the room you're going to be a point blank which doubles your skill and that's kind of important okay then yeah so I mean yeah moving into the room like I don't know if there's like a, a counter or a chair yeah we'll give or, you cover yeah. okay yeah Aster declare I'm going to remain in my position and fire Okay. If you move farther into the room, you're also going to be a point blank. 70. Right. But it also increases your one-fifth, which means you can impale easier, too. Impaling does double gotcha. damage. That, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yes, yeah, so you're at a 70, but it being at 140, and then your your impale being at a 28 or less Will be, yeah. is gotcha. kind of key. Got, okay, then I'll move in. Okay. Uh, Augustus, you're going to cut yourself free. So, oh, I'm sorry. First firing, nothing from Augustus. Uh, Evelyn, you can fire this first time. Who are you firing on? Um, the, so when you go into the bedroom and you come back out, the first person in, in line is Fuchs. He's closest oh, so to you. so it's behind him this right. way instead of this way. Yeah. I don't think I recorded because they're my coming in the door. third shot. You didn't. Go ahead and take uh, that. Uh, I, uh, yeah, both of you could take it. Got it. Uh, for 10. And I hit oh. for six. I will try to shoot him in the back of the head. Okay. Uh, Aster, your thug is down. Yay. Dead, dead. Yay. Okay. And I got 34 under 79 for one point of damage. (laughs) Uh, He does not dodge one point of damage. Okay. And now we go. So that was your firing. Blake, your first firing. That is a hit for nine. Nine. Uh, he is down as well. Holy cow. Um, I thought you said they had a lot of hit points. They do, but 10 and 8 is a lot of hit, a lot of damage. Oh. And 9 and 7 is a lot of damage. Actually, yeah. 9 plus 6 plus 1 isn't a lot of damage. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Fuchs, having been shot, is going to fire back at Evelyn. He's got to turn around and fire. He, yeah, he can fire. Okay. Uh, you don't have to roll dodge. I missed. Oh. <laughs> Aster. Pew pew. You gonna Comes. fire at Fuchs? Yep. Okay. Uh, one. One damage? No. Oh. I got a one, and then a three. So damage. six. Yep. 
six damage because it's doubled. Actually, you should roll that twice. So three, then six. So nine, nine total? Yep. Okay, he's still up. Uh, regular round, Augustus cuts himself free. Evelyn can't fire again. Brian. Super effective in this, I, in this combat, Augustus. I will say in my best German, drop it and point the weapon at him, but I won't fire. Okay. Uh, Aster. You're just going to shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> drop it. Bang. Well, I guess that was useless. Go ahead. You're fine. It's a good distraction tactic. Right. Hit him for three. Three? Okay. Uh, top or third firing Brian. <laughs> so he hasn't had an opportunity to act again? Yet? Nope. Aster's fire was shooting him, though. <laughs> Clearly. I guess I don't even know who this guy is. I guess I don't know that he's important. He's just some thug. He's... He would be. I mean, we recognize the name, no, but no one said his name. We haven't heard, we haven't heard his we name. We haven't heard his name. No, but I would assume that if he's there, if we can question him, I'm going to question him before I kill him. You just shot at him. I'm going to hold this time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was, well, yeah, yeah, I shot him, but I'm gonna, uh, this time. You I was reemphasizing <laughs> your point. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Freeze! Bang! No, seriously, this time. Freeze! All right, I'm shooting at I, him again. No, no, I'm getting. I, on, on this firing round, I'm going to give Aster a look, and then I'm just going to continue to wait to see what Fuchs does. I hit him for a crit <laughs> and eight. <laughs> well, he's dead dead. He's like super dead. Uh, so you have three dead bodies in the room. A uh, couple of things to keep in mind. One. We just shot a bunch of guns off. You just shot a bunch of guns <laughs> off. Two, you just shot a bunch of Nazis in Nazi Austria. So that's not going to go well. Uh, three, there are bodies kind of all over the room. And no matter what, you're going to get detained by the police. And by police, I mean Gestapo. Oh, yeah. Let There's me. nothing good that comes from you guys sticking around. Yeah, that's what I say. Yeah, we're bailing. My, my commands are going to be gather your things, only the important things, and we need to flee. Carlos I am the taking on everything in the pockets of the guy. <laughs> if he doesn't. Oh, you're, oh, you're rolling the, the guys? Yes. That's perfectly fine. Fair. Absolutely. I'm taking I'm everything they have. Grabbing the compass and oh, we hid that. Where well, you can we grab it now. Yeah, yeah, you can so grab it. So you now. don't know where you hid it. <laughs> oh no, where did it go? <laughs> I already forgot I where I, I hid it. I thought I put it in the bookshelf and now um, I got it in the bookshelf. We're so good at hiding things. Before oh, by the way, guys, in. this is the guy who killed Ehrlichman. Oh, sweet. Thanks. Yeah. Um, we, we, hey, we can debrief later. We need to get out of here. If you're going to uh, search them. I think that's good, Augustus. Um, what do you need me to collect for you for your things? Are we taking uh, our trunks? Some of my books. Uh, you, you know what? I, the, this, I is, this is this is easier done another way. You I'm, guys... I'm assumed it's all packed. Jesse. What? I got it. Okay. So you guys pack everything up real quick and get out. Um, you get uh, down to the the lobby, go out the back. Okay, yeah. Just as you hear some people coming in. So you have left probably some clothes behind, but nothing super important. Nothing that's going to tie you in any way by identity <laughs> to who you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Where are you guys headed? Augustus, do you have any safe uh, houses? I think we stayed at one when we first arrived, maybe? No, do you, have any you came straight no. here. Yeah, um, but yeah I guess I have probably, I mean, yeah, you probably have something. May not be great. It may honestly be like an abandoned warehouse where you guys can hole up for a day and figure out what to do. Yeah, let's do that. I think. Yes. Okay. So you that. guys, you guys head to Augustus's little safe house setup. Um, you're there for, you know, as long as you can stay there, I guess. Um, so at this point, you guys have a couple of things. You have a the something some something in an oil skin. And then you also have um, a note that, or a, a quote unquote poem that you're not sure what to do with. And you uh, still have all 10 fingers. Good right? job. Yes. I'm right? surprised. Hey, uh, Evelyn, we, we have a suspicious liquid and we have a thing to recite. Should we put the liquid in the compass and recite the poem? What liquid? What are you talking about? I thought yeah. you said it was something. 
No, the oil skin. And yeah. The books in the oil skin, not. It's just like a, oil. It's a wrapper wrapping. to keep it protected. In oh, the okay. Yeah. I was thinking like oil. It's not skin a skin like full of oil. oil. It's an oil. Skin. It's an yes. oil. It's not skin. snake oil. It's You're not, on the it's wrong not a wine page. Skin. It's, wow. I totally know where you were going. Right. Um, can anyone perform first aid upon me? <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. And okay. he cuts your arm off. Very likely. 64. I might be able to. I've got a fitty. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, I don't make can it. Can two people do it? I can't. Yes, go ahead. Well, I th- I, it's just the one wound, so I think only. <laughs> it's fine. One of them go ahead. Was... No, it's fine. Go ahead, Darby. <laughs> clearly, Astrid was no help to me. <laughs> oh my God! Whoa. What did he do to me? What does this hurt? Ah! <laughs> What'd you get, Shirley? I'm kind of 42 over 36. So no, no one can first aid. All right, you, you can roll the first aid yourself to stop the bleeding. That doesn't mean you get to heal. Sorry, Blake. <laughs> I will cauterize it tomorrow nope. with a knife okay. and fire. You guys are doing great. <laughs> Can we at least wrap it? Yeah. That's, that's first bandage, aid. But that's first hello. aid. Oh. Uh, I'm not healing, but I'm not presumably dying. Right. Okay. All right. Sorry, buddy. Unless somebody else cri- critically fails Rob. I didn't mean to. It wasn't that's on uh, purpose. By the way, that's the second one tonight. That's you should get rid one. of them dice. Dude, this is this my Cthulhu dice. That's why it's not going <laughs> good. Uh... I'll I'll no. hand the uh, oil skin wrap package to um, Asker as your no, arm falls off <laughs> to Evelyn. Oh, now, where is he okay. shot at? Uh, we, um, how much damage you take? I think like six. six. Yeah, uh, probably like upper sh- upper like pec on his left side. So it might it probably didn't puncture along because he's not breathing hard, but he is in some pain. And moving that arm is going to just make everything worse. It, right. So is it my to... dominant? or <clears throat> No, it's okay. your secondary. That would suck. Yeah. No, because I wouldn't have let you fire the rest of the round. <laughs> um, so I'll hand the oil skin wrap package to uh, Evelyn and say, this is what um, Astra and I found in the cemetery. Why don't you take a look at it since I'm a little incapacitated at the moment. Um, anyone have a knife? No, you can untie it. It's fine. Okay, I'm uh, She it. wants to cut it up, you, but apparently. <laughs> you look over it. Can there are a couple of quick things that we need to mention here. Um, Ehrlichman began translating the Blackstone in an attempt to trace the ancient origins of the Germanic peoples. There appears to be some sort of ancient power, or I'm sorry, ancient artifact that was split up in antiquity and the parts hidden in five far-flung locations scattered across the globe. One of these locations is in the Eternal City, Rome. The artifacts are allegedly from the lost lost civilization of Atlantis. A German expedition has recently brought back a manuscript from Tibet that corroborates the information found on the stone. Ehrlichman is convinced that someone within the Wehrmacht, which is the German army, is determined to collect the artifact and intends to use it as the basis of of weapons research for the Third Reich. Uh, Shirley, can you roll library use? <laughs> Sorry. It's not my fault. This is what it calls for. I mean, we all while, while she's doing this. Ooh, 12 under 25. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you find mention of the compass. You'll have to do some more. Invent- You'll have to really read over the passage. This is just a quick, like, you're flipping through. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is a journal. And there are rules for reading it and things you'll get when you read it. That's fine. So I'm going, ooh, oh, oh, that's interesting. Oh, my gosh. Oh, hey, the compass. It's going to take you two <laughs> full days if you want to read the whole thing. And yes. You're going to need to spend the whole two days doing it. All right. I will be spending two days reading you this journal. You may not journal. get to stay in this one place for two days. Well, that doesn't mean I can't read as we're going. It depends on what level of focus, I guess. Is required. Yeah, you do. Re- it would require you to focus completely. Oh, okay. You need full 48 hours to read the whole thing, is what I'm saying. Oh, okay. So then we need to go to Rome. D- uh, so when you did I not... I know the note got handed to me. Right. Was the person like speaking directly to me, or was he speaking to us? Good about, question. About the poem? Yeah. Uh, he was, hey, misters, so it was both of you. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I, I would imagine that home in these Italian names is that, yeah, we need to go to Rome. I don't think we need to look anything more into 
meeting with Augustus's contact, especially given our situation with the Nazis right now. We need to. Oh, it should also be noted. I'm sorry. I should have read this. Um, also inside the package is the battered notebook, which you guys read. <clears throat> um, obviously, the first page is, mis- is missing because you guys have that. Um, the rest of the journal is stuffed full of notes, sketches, and other pieces of paper, including ticket stubs, cafe bills, and a receipt for an expensive engagement ring. Um, Fiance. Yeah. 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 Are any of the um, receipts for any, would I notice them from Rome? No, no, they're all from Cafe, like a lot of them are from Cafe Gugelhofen, or from Sturban, whatever. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, he's doing it. I think I just kept getting longer and longer. <laughs> Gugelhofen, Sturban, Durban, Herberdier, Sturban, Herberdier, Sturban, Swedish chef. So, so did the Nazis have anything of was, was interest that? pertaining to... No, no, they had um, machine and pistol pistols, so some machine guns, and then uh, Walther PPKs. Okay, but nothing like notes on this or anything. No, like that. no, but you got some oh. ammo and some extra guns. Those aren't you know on... wallets, papers, IDs. Ooh. You do have papers and IDs, yeah. That's awesome. All right. Um, Not that you match the description of any of them, no, no, but. No, no, no. We might be able to dock for them, I don't know, if need be. Well, um, you know, actually... We have extra- yeah, go ahead, what were you saying? Did we have a set-up extraction method when we were ready to leave? You, you board a train. As far as you're oh. concerned, these uh, identities are still good. Or, or would still be good, like you didn't expect to get in a shoot-down. Yeah. Or shoot-out, so like leaving the country would be something you'd want to do bare, or at the very latest 24 hours. Like, you're on a clock now. Yeah, um... Am I bleeding through my bandages? No, but the more you move, you may. But you know you have enough first aid knowledge to know that the more you're moving around, the more you're, you could potentially bleed. Do I think that from where we are right now, with a fresh set of bandages, we can get onto a departing train before they start bleeding through? Like, I'm concerned that... Yeah, yeah, you could... You As long as you're careful about it, and which wouldn't be too big of a deal, you can probably patch it up, clean it Put up it enough that, that you can get there... And and be fine. Okay, um, we have enough money between us to buy. Oh, you have enough money to do a lot of stuff. Like there's this was you were given enough money to handle this, okay. and we took everything out of the cash register. Yeah, it's <laughs> uh, <is> like four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone, check your things. Make sure that we're not missing anything that we need. Um, I think we need to get the next train uh, towards Rome. And All that's right. a good that's a good break point. So don't forget to check out our other podcasts at nerdsdom dot com. <laughs> And we will talk to you guys real soon. Four down. Four Nazis down. And that will do it for us tonight on the Nerds Domain Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. Remember, you can email us at nerdsdomain at gmail.com or find us on facebook.com forward slash nerdsdomain. On Twitter at Nerds Domain or over at our site, nerdsdom.com. Be sure to sign up for the newsletter while you're there. You can head over to iTunes and give us a five star rating. We want to thank Josh Shop for our music. Don't forget, you can support us at patreon.com forward slash nerds domain. And check out our shirts at slashloot.com.